Well, let's take a look at the new alignment uh, thing in the prospector since I promised I'd do that. And so now we have alignments, and as you can see, we have center line alignments, and I've got one. You can see in the tool space it appears here, and I have this alignment, and we can, of course, zoom to any alignment. You'll notice another really cool thing is I can select that alignment. So now when I right-click, it's selected, and I can take a look at that alignment's properties, right? Station control, all the stuff um, that comes along with an alignment um, and remains pretty much the same, but you'll see it's a center line type alignment. It's grayed out because as we can see in the tool space, I'm actually using a data shortcut to get to this alignment. So this alignment is actually stored in a complete other drawing, and I just referenced it into this drawing. You'll see that I have no offset alignments in the tool space currently, and no curb returns or no miscellaneous alignments. In a moment, we'll make a couple of those. Um, if I want to, since this is a referenced, one of the gotchas here is this, since it's referenced, you'll notice when I right-click, there is no widening tool in uh, the inner in the interface so I cannot directly create a widening um, uh, from a referenced alignment it has to be alignment currently in your drawing so let's make one and meanwhile we'll show uh, let's take a look at uh, what we got here we got uh, a p-line object an arc object and a line object all not necessarily tangent which is part of the issue that I'm going to bring up here is we can now create alignments um, from all three of those types of objects all at once. And so uh, let's create an uh, alignment from objects. We can pick, I have shift to add on, so I'm adding up those three objects. And so I had a P line, an arc, and a line. And will it return? And now it shows me what direction I can reverse the alignment. And uh, unfortunately, I don't get to go back and forth. You also get new graphic update here uh, showing you the direction of the alignment as you make it. We're going to use the standard name counter. And you'll notice at this point, I can say that this is a miscellaneous alignment or an offset alignment. So type, it happens at creation, uh, which is an important idea. And you can change your start station and all the regular stuff. Uh, we're going to accept the default. Um, both, all of these come from host of styles to chip with uh, jump station and the country kit. 